Hello everyone. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous Wednesday. Today I'm coming at you with a really quick review on the Chanel O coin purse. I will be doing a quick overview of the item, some pros, some cons, and then ultimately whether or not I recommend this piece. So let's get started. Before I forget, the measurements on this coin purse are 4.7 inches in length. It is 3 inches in height and 0.8 inches in depth. As you can see, this features the red caviar leather with the chevron detail throughout and the silver hardware. And uh, it is actually available in uh, navy, black, and uh, pink. And the pink is kind of like a bubblegum pink just for this past season. But obviously, with uh, Chanel seasons, they always have different colors. And they usually tend to have them with this coin purse. But here we go. There is the back side of it. There are no pockets. And it has a zipper around closure. And the zipper is made out of metal. And the reason why I say that is because not all Chanel wallets with a zipper around closure have the metal zip. And then it has a little caviar leather pull tab. Okay, and when you open it up, it features three, three little uh, compartments and the inside of the compartments are all made out of the red textile lining and it has leather gussets on either side and then the tab on there says Chanel made in Italy. But it doesn't have any other slip pockets uh, up against the, uh, the wallet like other zip coin, uh, zippy coin purses do and things like that. Okay, and before I forget, this beauty retails for $475 here in the States. Okay, so now that we got the details out of the way, let's talk about the pros. A major, major pro for me is its size. The fact that I can carry my entire wallet with me uh, without having to sacrifice what it is that I'm carrying is awesome. Uh, I don't tend to carry too much with me in my car, you know, in my wallets anyways, uh, but the fact that I could carry everything and not have to sacrifice one thing for another uh, is, makes me happy because how many times do you end up going compact and you have to have a smaller card holder or you have to have something else and you can't carry all of your other loyalty cards. You can't carry, you know, everything else. You have to pick and choose what it is that you absolutely need to carry with you. I don't feel that you have to do that with this. Um, and, you know, I, I honestly, my entire wallet fit in here. And the only reason I took two items out was because I started to notice that it was bulging. And I will talk about that in a second. Uh, but at most, I fit, I try to see how much I can actually fit in here, even though this is something that I don't tend to carry on the daily. I fit 21 cards in here. Some of them were the harder plastic. Some of them were the, you know, like the flimsy paper type of cards, like business cards. Uh, but regardless, everything fit in here without having to worry that, oh my goodness, I don't have this with me. I don't have that. You know, some people like to carry everything, but the kitchen sink with them in their wallets. Uh, and I think that this is definitely something that you can use without having to worry about leaving something out. Uh, another pro for me is the fact that it's little compartments. Usually with other card holders, I like to have open spaces and that always works out for me in my lifestyle. But I will have to say that the ease of having three different compartments and being able to, uh, not prioritize, but you're able to organize in which order you want things to go is awesome. So let's say in this one, you only have credit cards in this one, you only have loyalty cards and maybe in this one you have cash. Regardless, I think that it works and I absolutely love that. Another thing is, is the ease of the zipper. Usually we with the zip around uh, purses or wallets from, not purses, the wallets from Chanel, sometimes I've noticed that the gussets that they have here are a little higher and they end up hitting on the top part of the zip around closure. Kind of like the uh, pink caviar uh, zipped wallet that I have, it always ends up sticking. And I didn't have this issue with this item at all because the gussets here are at the perfect height um, for, you know, for the, for the top part of the wallet. And I don't have to worry that it's going to get caught or anything like that. I'm able to open it up with ease and it has a very, very smooth zipper. And I really, really do like like that. Um, you know, and the gussets here give you a little bit of, you know, more space that you can open up and see how much you can actually fit in there. Uh, another pro is something that I mentioned in the details is the fact that it, you know, it does have the, the metal zipper. And the reason why that is such a pro is usually because when it comes to wallets, obviously you're going to be get, going in and out of the wallet, right? There's no other way to get in and out of it. And if you have, um, if you have the type of plastic, you know, zipper and, you know, what if something happens? What if when you're zipping it up, one of the, the teeth falls out or the track ends up getting messed up? The fact that you have the metal, it's a little bit more, uh, carefree. So I don't have to worry as much with a, uh, with a plastic zipper or anything like that. So, you know, to me, the metal zip is a major, major plus, And I don't have to worry that, you know, something's going to happen to one of the teeth. It's going to break off. It's going to fall off or, you know, it's just, 
something, you know, anything like that, that it's completely going to just pop off. So that's why it's a major, major pro. Um, <clears throat> and I'd have to say the fact again, that you can carry so many little items in these little compartments. Um, I was just, I was really blown away by how much I fit in here. And I cannot stress how amazing this little item has been ever since I got it. I've been using it to death. Uh, and, uh, I did have someone ask me if I will end up replacing this wallet with my larger wallets. Probably not only because I tend to prefer larger wallets. Uh, but I know that if I ever had to go compact that I don't have to worry about what I can't carry because I can eat. I can literally carry everything with me. Okay. Having said that, let's talk about a con and it's not a con for me because as I told you guys before, I don't tend to carry too much with me in my wallets, but if you're the type of person that has quite a bit of cards with you, if you have anywhere from, uh, you know, 20 plus or 22 plus cards or 25 plus cards that you absolutely have to carry with you, then I don't recommend this as a everyday wallet where you're, where, you know, where you can use this only and not have to carry something else. Because as I said before, mine started to, um, I had two items in there that I normally wouldn't carry, uh, and it started to kind of bulge up on the zipper. And the reason I took them out is because I don't want to strain the zipper and I don't want to strain this fabric here any more than I, than I should. That's why I took them out. Uh, but that's why I'm saying if you tend to carry anywhere from 25 card, uh, 25 cards plus, or you tend to carry your change in your wallets and you tend tend to carry more cash in your wallets and things like that, I would recommend this more so, um, as a, just a small, little wallet to go when you're going compact from your larger wallet. But I'm talking about the sense that if you want to go from a full on large wallet and only carry this and not carry anything else, then that's when I don't recommend it. So hopefully that made sense. <laughs> I feel like I said it three or four different times. Uh, but, uh, you know, ultimately that's the only con that I can think of. There are no cons for me. Um, because again, I was just blown away by how much I can fit in here and the ease of being able to carry this, the ease of being able to go in and out of it. And, uh, you know, it's just great. I haven't had any wear and tear issues with, uh, with the Chevron detailing on here whatsoever. And, uh, I think that's fantastic. So I'm a huge, huge fan of this. I highly recommend it. But again, if you tend to carry quite a bit of cards with you, especially the plastic cards that tend to take up a little bit more space, then this is something that I wouldn't go to as an everyday wallet. And, you know, you'd have to end up carrying a few other things with you. So if you're okay with that, then that's fantastic. But, um, as a full on replacement of a larger wallet, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say that to the extreme, but then again, it works in my lifestyle because I don't carry too much with me, but, uh, that, that is it for, for the cons in my opinion. But, uh, I, I highly recommend it. This is fantastic. I, I am amazed by it and I really want, I can't wait to add more of these little coin purses to my collection. Uh, and you know, I just, I'm, I'm happy that I was able to find, you know, a small leather good from Chanel that just to, totally, totally, you know, blew me away way. So that does it for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope I was able to help some of you guys out, especially if you're thinking about adding this piece to your collection. I highly say go for it. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you probably later this week. If not, I will see you on Monday with another Minx Monday Q and A. And as always make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day, you guys.